squatties, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever you're listening or watching. Hello. Be sure to check out memberships. You can join if you're interested. You'll be the company of equally amazing squatties. <laughs> and just like with all my information, I'll put the links inside the description box. Thanks. Prince Harry and Princess Meghan gave us such an amazing week that put a spotlight on wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women through the Invictus Games around the world. This past week, during activities for his 2025 Invictus Games launch in Whistler, Canada, the Duke of Sussex spoke with Good Morning America's Will Reeve about his day-to-day -day with wife Duchess Meghan and their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Reeve asked about the children, and here's Harry's response. How's what? How How's Harry the dad? I can't tell you. That's classified. Okay. You it's know, super you know, top right? secret? It's top secret. Really? No, the kids, Making lunches the, kids and... the kids are doing great. The kids are growing up like all kids do very, very fast. Um, they've both got an incredible sense of humor and, you know, make us laugh and keep us grounded every single day like most, most kids do. So, um, yeah, I'm just very grateful to be a dad. The British prince even said he's thought about becoming an American citizen. How are you enjoying your time living in the U.S.? It's amazing. I love every single day. Do you feel American? Uh, do I feel American? Um, no. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Would you I, think about becoming a citizen? It's. I have. I have considered it. Yeah. 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 What would? What would stop you from doing it? I have no idea. I, that's, I'm. I'm here standing next to this with these guys and the American citizenship is <laughs> is, a, is a thought that has crossed my mind but certainly not something that's a high priority for me right now. I totally understand what Harry meant by that and I appreciate his answer. I'm sure the haters in the UK media will spin it whichever they want instead of them being the ones who get the first hand you know, interviews from Harry. Oh well. The Sussexes also visited the traditional territory of Luwats Nation as part of their trip to British Columbia. And the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent time with members of the nation in Mount Curry on February 15th. And was invited to visit Lil Watt and speak with Chief Jail Cop. I really hope I said his name right and I apologize if I didn't. <laughs> as well as other counselors. Harry took part in a wheelchair basketball game with local youth during his visit. And according to Chief Dean Nelson, he said that the visit was positive and sincere. He dropped by the community. We had a lot of fun with the youth and our leadership. Nelson said he also spoke with the Royal about positive steps towards truth and reconciliation. We did have a chance to chat about that stuff. That was the reason he came there. Our initial visit was a few months ago when he first came around. He has been very sincere and down to earth. He was inquiring about how things are. Nelson said they also discussed the problems the Little Watt are still facing since the creation of the Indian Act. During their visit, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex received traditional welcome and were presented symbolic gifts from their family. These gifts included a traditional basket and a hand-carved cedar art piece symbolizing strength. In a statement on their website, the Duke and Duchess said visiting Lil Watt Nation was an honor. The couple were humbled to be invited and extended their deepest gratitude to Chief Nelson, Chief Jelpkow, and the people of the Lil Watt Nation for their generous hospitality and kindness. Lenny Martin Andrew is the son of the former Lowat Nation chief, Leonard Andrew. He said today's visit made waves within the community. The prince showing up for me is a statement. It got everyone's attention. He also went to our cultural center in Whistler yesterday. Andrew felt the royal showed respect to the nation and its people. When we go into other people's territories, we show respect. He followed protocol. During the visit, Princess Megan also dropped by a local Vancouver nonprofit organization, Justice for Girls, to meet with volunteers and staff. And I wanted to rewind back to Valentine's Day when love was in the air for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they double dated with Michael Bublé and Louisiana Lupiato. And celebrity chef Vikram Vix shared a photo to social media with the couple. Harry and Megan, that is, saying that they were honored to have the People's Royal Couple. 
yes, the people's royal couple at their restaurant. The Indian restaurant is known for its inventive cuisine, great service, and signature dishes. And the social media pictures and website showcases the delicious looking dishes that just made me question my intermittent fasting. <laughs> Let me hurry up and turn these these photos off before I, I, I break the fast because I'm not doing that. I've been doing so well so far. So, <laughs> anywho, <laughs> Prince Harry and Princess Meghan, they, you know, of course, they dress full of chilly weather, both in winter hats and gloves from some familiar designers like Eddie Bauer. I hope I said that name right. And shout out to the squatty uh, Terry Allen for that mention in the community tab. Thank you for that. And of course, that's one of Harry's absolute favorites. And then, of course, you have Mega's favorites, which was Centelaire, uh, Giorgio Armani, uh, Aritzia, Calvin Klein, Burberry, and more. <laughs> they even got to spend the morning with the Invictus military family, sponsor supporters. It's it, it was it was just a wonderful overall experience to witness. <laughs> and you know, and it, it was it was lovely. Um, and Megan wrapped up her final look with, you know, the Centillaire wrap cold and got her gloves from Miramax. And underneath was a top from Blue Salt, jeans from Laline, and boots from Co. They later attended a banquet, and Megan wore a beautiful off the shoulder gown by Greta Constantine, according to what Megan wore. Shout out to them. And while Harry got serenaded by Michael Bublé, who sang Frank Sinatra's famous My Way? Of course, we knew lyrics. <laughs> the Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025 will host more than 500 competitors from 23 nations and is scheduled to take place February 8th to the 16th in 2025. And of course, I couldn't end this portion of the podcast without mentioning the website change. As y'all know, Arch12.com is now Sussex.com. Arch12 now ends with a .org as it should. It's a nonprofit organization. So, yes, that makes total sense. <laughs> now back to Sussex.com and the revamping of their website, which includes the merging of their Sussex Royal website, which links back to Sussex.com. I think it's really cool that that they, uh, I mean, I don't know what they have planned for Sussex Royal. Maybe they're is just blending everything together, um, just blending everything together, you know, for their Archwell Foundation, you know, as well as their their uh, their movies that they are are planning on doing um, and the as well as, as the production where there's movies or audio or books etc like i love that they're just blending everything together and i love and i also love that they have the, their crest up there um i really understand why people were, were mad about that um i mean it wasn't a lot of people only just just a little minority of haters you know how you know how they are the the coat of arms i thought that was really cool not crest i'm so sorry about that Oh, uh, and then of course there's rumors about the half in and half out, and I don't know what that's about. I'm just gonna wait until Harry and Meghan confirms that from their website, or you know, even if like Charles in Buckingham Palace, whatever. I don't know if they announce it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna hear Harry and Meghan announce it first. So whatever they do, I'm gonna support them. They know what's going on. We as a people that's looking that's on the outside looking in we don't know okay like they're they're in the driver's seat and all this just remember that okay <laughs> but you know who's big mad about all this wonderful news about our successes well you know the one who's incandescent with rage of course it's not fair i am incandescent with rage <laughs> well, yes, he's also a big man, but I mean, I was talking about the haters, which includes him. <laughs> the web address 
in Copasses, the latest news about the couple's bios of Harry and Meghan, as well as links for their Archwell Foundation organization and Archwell Production Hub, as I mentioned already. The homepage features a photo of Prince Harry and Meghan in Germany in 2023 in Victor's Games closing ceremony in September. The image of the two smiling and clapping is clearly a favorite of the couple, as they also chose it for their holiday card last year, as you remember. Under the coat of arms, the text homepage reads, The Office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. All right, enough of that now. <laughs> now we'll see how the welfare royals are holding up regarding this news. They live in a world that they only believe exists, so let's go see what they're up to. I can't believe my paw wants held back into the fold, and the bastard is possibly doing it. Perhaps it's best that the prince is doing work for your father. That can keep the pressure off you to carry on some duties. And let him get all the attention. According to the press, you're taking care of your wife and children. We can have the press believe that Harry wants to continue royal duties, and that Meghan... <laughs> That woman is apologizing to Kate. But isn't Kate... Yes, I'm well aware of that, but the media doesn't know, and will probably never know. But they're all familiar with the crying story. Oh, when Kate made Megan cry? No, the tabloid version. Oh. What are you doing in my office? <gasps> Your Majesty! It will be in my office in two to five years. I will fight with everything I have to make for certain that George will occupy this office next. Is that a threat? What do you think it is? Why is Harold doing interviews about your condition? He answered it correctly. Is that all you're going to say? He exposed everything. He didn't. Why is he in the fold? And why didn't you tell me he was seeing you? Time palm, baby. Megan wore the most beautiful green dress. I must call the designer of that dress to make one for my size. Oh. Hello, William. Well, Pa? I don't have to explain anything to you. I'm the king. Do you love Harold more than me? I'll make it easy and say the tampon baby loves me more than you both. And why are you so easy on the outside like Megan? She's not one of us. Harold and Megan are representing our family abroad. And if Harold needs to come back home to the UK on my behalf, he will do so. Is that why you gave them everything they wanted? Even their children got titles. So does yours. You gave them a website. You also have one. I have one. You provided him with security. You also have security. I'm surprised you haven't offered them a residence. Your full property is all safe. Why does Hell get everything? <laughs> that boy is obsessed. He's always been competitive with Harold. Why did we not take the Adventist games? Because it was Hell's idea. Why are you defending him so much? Where's Kate? Oh, shut up. That's a good inquiry. Where is Kate? Is Rose not your main lady? I've always been mistreated by you. Having on the worst and oldest clothes, hose in my shoes, the least desirable beds to sleep in, the smallest bedrooms, and I had to carry a bloody rubbish bag. That was Harold's experience. And this isn't a contest. Then what is it exactly? You're competing with despair. And since my illness, I realize what my own mother sees in him. And what is that? That Harold turned out to be the man that neither of us will ever be. What? Now, all of you, out of my office, at once. And that's all for this podcast. And be sure to visit my Duchess Amazon storefront. I always update it with interesting items that you just may need. In the meantime, I hope that your days are filled with blue skies, sunshines with positive vibes. 
I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, join the membership. I have the links inside the description box. My name is Deanna, and you are watching Thriving with the Sussexists. Talk to you soon.